Hey everyone, I'm Peter Rosas, producer on Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. And I am Bill Trinan from Nintendo's Treehouse. And today we're here to answer your questions on Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Can we play in single player with a team that consists of three, two, or even just one character like in the original game? And are hub worlds returning? You can play this game in a four player team. You can't have a three person team or a two person team or a one character team. You can have a four person team and you can play with your friends. And you can have one character, you can play with one friend, two friends, or three friends. Yeah. Or you can play with CPU, you know, computer controlled characters as well. Yes, you can also play online as well, right? That's right. You know, you have your robust story mode where you're able to go through various Marvel locations throughout the Marvel Universe, uh, interact with various awesome characters, and also find cool areas, uh, if you discover them, called the Infinity Rifts, and those take you to the Infinity Trials where you can find a bunch of cool remix missions and things like that that give you awesome power-ups uh, and also cool things once you uh, go through them. How many playable characters in the game and how many in each DLC? The total roster is the biggest roster that will have ever appeared in a Marvel Ultimate Alliance game, uh, so that's great. The DLC, the operative word there is characters because each DLC pack will come with multiple characters. Uh, we did announce that there are going to be, uh, what, uh, Marvel Knights? Yeah, we have Marvel Knights, uh, we have X -Men. more X-Men. Yes. Yes, and we also have, you know, uh, Marvel's first family, the Fantastic Four. That's right. Will there be alternate costumes for heroes? Well, you know, in the Infinity Rifts, you can find alternate colors there, mm -hmm. uh, and there will be costumes, but we haven't really announced a plan just yet. We'll have more information on that later. Are all characters unlocked as you progress through the story, or are some unlocked through challenges and finding items like Daredevil in Ultimate Alliance 1? Well, they're unlocked through the story, but you can also unlock them through the Infinity Rifts. Yeah. Yeah, so depending on the trial you go to, you know, you'll be able to find the character. Uh, so be sure to explore every part of the game if yeah. you're trying to complete your entire Ultimate Alliance roster. That's right. And those Infinity Rifts are just great challenges and great ways to kind of continue to level up your characters as well. Exactly. Will there be any team bonuses when you make a team with the four characters you choose? There will be not just team bonuses, there will be a lot of team bonuses. Um, you're going to be able to pick and choose various teams and there are a lot of different themes for all the bonuses. You can have a two character team bonus. So if you pick two people uh, from the same kind of synergy, you can get the bonus from there. Or if you pick three of them, you get a you get an exponential bonus. Yep. And if you pick four of them who fall under the same group, you get an even bigger bonus. So be sure to experiment with your teams and you know see what you can get. And last but not least, is Hawkeye in this video game? I'm a big fan of Hawkeye. I don't think I'd be here if Hawkeye <laughs> wasn't in this game. Uh, so the emphatic answer to that is yes. Yeah, that was a requirement uh, for Bill to participate. He said, I need Hawkeye. We've heard you guys, we put him in the game, he's there.